welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Mika. Thank you so much for stopping in. So today let's talk about giving away things you can't afford. When we want to help people, when we are in a space where we feel like we're just so nice, so we're just so nice, stop being nice. If you can't afford to give it, you don't have it. That goes for money, time, yourself, whatever it is that's attached to you, whatever it is that belongs to you, stop giving it away. You're changing your plans to make other people happy. You're changing your plans to be there for somebody else, to give somebody a ride to work or you know, to wash their kids or whatever. You're giving away money that you could have had and put in a savings account. You're giving it away just because, oh, well, I have a little bit of savings. So this person said they're hungry, their family's hungry. So, you know, I was able to save up $100. I'm going to just let them have 100 Or I'm going to just let them have 90 And I'll keep 10 in my savings account. Like, stop doing that. Stop doing that. If you can't afford it, like if you know you have a goal, don't go outside of your goal. Don't disrespect yourself by telling yourself, you know, everybody else is more important than me. All my goals that I know matter to me. It doesn't really matter because if someone else needs me, if someone else needs what I have and I'm able to give it, then I'm going to do it. There's a difference between being able to give it and there's a difference between giving out of being too nice and really can't afford it. Yeah, let's say you have a savings account and you have $5,000 in there. And someone says, hey, I'm really struggling. I need some gas money. Do you mind if I borrow $20? Okay. Versus the person who has $40 in their account. And the same person says, hey, I'm really struggling. I need gas money. Do you mind if I borrow $20? You see the difference? So the person with the $5,000, yeah, that's nothing because if that person was not to pay them back, they're good. I mean, they may not trust them anymore, but overall, it's not hurting their home. It's not hurting their lifestyle. It's not hurting them versus the person who may have just gave away half of what they have. They're desperately going to need that money back. And if that person plays with them, disappears on them, ghosts them, or just decides to never give it back, that's $20 they have to work hard to get back, whether it was the savings or just something additional off of a paycheck. Because, you know, a lot of us out here is living paycheck to paycheck. Let's not lie. Let's be honest. And so you can't afford it. You know, you can't afford to give away things you don't have. If you know that you have a busy work schedule, or a busy schedule in general, you have kids, you have a husband or a wife, you, you, you're trying to do everything, you're trying to have time and space for everything in your life, don't allow somebody to say, hey, I really need you to start taking me to work or picking me up or I need you to do this, this and that favor for me. Don't say okay and then take away from your family, your family time. Take away from you going to the gym. Take away from you having time to just relax you may only get an hour a day just to yourself and you're giving it away to do something for somebody else you can't afford it you cannot afford it i do it a lot myself y'all know when i tell y'all when i give y'all advice it's because i lived it i know it to be a tr be something that is true i've experienced it and I've done the same thing and I still struggle with it, not as bad as I used to, but I I can say majority of my life, I lived it for someone else. Whether they were good people to me or bad people to me, I lived it for someone else. I gave away everything that they said they wanted, even if I didn't want to, even if I didn't feel comfortable giving it, even if I knew that this person was going to pay me back. Even if I knew this person wouldn't do the same for me if I was in the same predicament, I was there doing it. They always can count on me. We were all friends and, you know, we were, you know, the best of buds when I was saying yes. People pleasing. In a sense, that's what that is when you're giving when you don't have. You're giving love to people. You, you know that you don't want to be in this relationship no more. Then this person's making you feel bad. We have kids together, but I love you. I care about you. 
but you're stunting my growth. You suffocate me. You don't trust me. You're abusive towards me. You lie to me. You cheat on me. But I'm going to stay because you asked me to. Giving away my power and my ability to do what's right for me as a human being. To, to save my heart. To save my, my mental health. I'm going to stay and disregard everything that I could do to save me right now. And a lot of people do it. A lot of people do it. They let people punk them into things that they don't want to do, that they know is not right. They let people, you know, pull onto their heartstrings and, and get everything from them, just drain them dry. When we talk about giving, it's not always just about financial stuff. We always think, oh yeah, giving away money. You know, I know how to say no. But it's more to that. What are you giving? Are you giving yourself? Are you giving up your mental health? Are you giving up your body when you don't want to? You can't afford to do that. A person's married and they're trying to sleep with you. You do it. Because you like them and because they they told you sweet nothings. You can't afford to do that. Then you end a, a soul tie. Or you're dealing with somebody who doesn't want a relationship but you do. Are you trying to walk away from somebody that you know is not good for you, but you're staying because, hey, they, they said that they want me to. We have to start thinking for ourselves, saving ourselves. It's not always about money. When you are giving yourself in any capacity, you could be giving away more than you can afford to give away. Can you afford that heartbreak? Can you afford that disappointment? Can you afford for that person not to pay you back? Can you afford for that person to continue to use you? Can you afford that? Really? Can you afford that? It's an expensive price. And I think money, giving away money, even if it's a lot of money that I end up losing or I have to struggle through, I think that's the work, that's the best case scenario. Because when it comes to things that matters of the heart and the mind and the mental health, and the physical health and just you know being happy having my happiness taken from me those are way more expensive than something you can easily go out there and work and get back so y'all need to be cautious stop being nice nice is false nice is, is we just use that word and really it's, it's is called being ignorant, a yes man. You can be kind. That means you can help people when you can. You'll give to people when you can. You'll you'll meet people where you're at. You're not trying to go above and beyond, working yourself crazy, hurting yourself to be there for somebody else. You'll give from the capacity that you can give. Being nice. Being nice says, I have to say yes. And it, it's false. You're not being real to yourself. But y'all let me know what you think in the comment box below. Like I always said, please be nice, courteous, kind, polite. Uh, because myself as well as other people are reading your comments. And we're just here to uplift spirits, help each other out, give each other different perspectives on, things, on ways to look at things. And help each other know that we are not alone. It's everyday life. We make mistakes. So drop your comments below. We'll keep the conversation going and talk next time. Bye.